Terrapin attack breaking down SSH security, navigating the Terrapin attack landscape, understanding, detecting and mitigating SSH vulnerabilities. SSH Secure Shell serve as a crucial internet standard providing a secure access to network services including remote terminal login and file transfer across organizational network and uh, over 15 million servers on the open internet. Terrapin Attack Overview The Terrapin Attack, a prefix truncation assault on the SSH protocol disrupts the integrity of a secure channel by manipulating sequence numbers during the shake. This manipulation allows an attacker to remove messages at the channel's inis initialization, downgrading connection security by truncating extension negotiation messages. Such truncation can compromise client authentication algorithms and deactivate specific control measures in OpenSSH 9.5. Implementation flows and exploitation. Terrapin extends its impact by exploiting implementation flows. Weaknesses in the active sync SSH server state machine enable attackers to sign a victim's client into another account unnoticed, potentially granting many in the middle capabilities within encrypted sessions and facilitating strong phishing attacks. Practical consideration. To enable the Terrapin attack, a man in the middle attacker with network layer interception capabilities is required. The connection must be secured using ChaCha20 Poly1305 or CBC with Encrypt Van Mac, a configuration found in majority of real world SSH sessions according to a comprehensive scan. Vulnerability Scanner a vulnerability scanner provided in Go enables users to assess SSH server or client vulnerability to the Terrapin attack. It checks for susceptible encryption modes and the support for the strict key exchange countermeasure without executing the full attack. You can download the tool in the website in all the suitable platform, as I did. It's just a couple of megabytes, so it's worth a try. Be aware that this tool becomes public domain on the 18th of December 2023. Welcome to my terminal. I already opened the download directory where the Terrafin scanner is downloaded. Let me make it executable using chmod plus x. In this way I could execute the Terrapin uh, vulnerability scanner in version 1.1.0 and uh, it can operate as a server or as a client. In my case I would like to verify if a remote host is vulnerable to Terrapin and let me use the parameter dash connect. So let me specify the command terrapin scanner dash connect and then the remote host, in my case rel.example.com. This is a freshly Red Hat Enterprise Linux that came with the default configuration of SSH out of the box. And as you can see, uh, it is vulnerable to terrapin because it uses the ChaCha20 Poly1305 support. There is a, a lot of ways that we can mitigate this attack, but this is very important and we verified that the remote system is vulnerable to terrapin. System administrator, I advise not to panic because every vendor is working on a mitigation of this vulnerability as the attack necessitates specific conditions as well. Mitigation includes temporarily disabling vulnerable encryption modes or applying patches provided by SSH implementation. Potential attackers gain include extension downgrade attack impacting RSH public key authentication and exploiting of implementation flow. 
the Terrapin vulnerability affects a broad range of SSH implementation with assigned CVE numbers highlighting general protocol flow and the specific attack in async SSH. Vendors have responded with updates introducing an optional street key exchange countermeasure CVE 2023-48795 General Protocol Flow CVE 2023-46445 Rogue Extension Negotiation Attack in Async SSH CVE 2023-46446 Rogue Session Attack in Async SSH Therapy's practicality depends on a local network's accessibility to man-in-the-middle attackers and the use of vulnerable encryption modes. The attacker's uniqueness and severity are underscored by its status as the first practically exploitable prefix truncation attack, deserving a name and a recognition. Therapin presents a significant threat to SSH security, requiring a collective effort from the community to raise awareness, implement countermeasure and safeguard encryption sessions. The disclosed information, including a vulnerability scanner and patches, aid users and administrators in assessing and mitigating the risk associated with a Therapin attack. Thank you for watching and let's secure our device as soon as possible. Bye, have a wonderful day!